But in this situation here, if you're a woman and you're in a domestic violence or domestic, uh, uh, in a relationship and you're being abused, you want to leave as soon as possible because I've seen so many, so many times that women sometimes will confuse being abused by their partner. They will confuse it with love. It's a big distinction. Love and domestic abuse cannot coexist. There is no such thing as there's no such thing as violent love. There's no some, such thing as somebody loving you and turning you into a punching bag. There's no such thing as somebody loving you and just being verbally and physically abusive. So that is the mistakes that a lot of women do sometimes. They will stay in this relationship. And a lot of those guys were abusers or master manipulators. They know how to manipulate the psyche of the woman. They know what words to say. Typically they could snap, punch a woman, give her a black eye, fracture her nose, whatever. And they'll say, I love you. Love cannot be expressed verbally. That is a mistake a lot of women make. Just because somebody say they love you does not mean they love you. Love is shown by action. Within the context of a relationship, love has to be a verb. It is manifested through action but unfortunately a lot of women think that love is manifested through words a lot of guys will talk a good game and this woman will say oh he loves me but slap you and punch you right there you get what i'm saying that is not love so that's why a lot of those women stay if you ask them, why are you in this relationship? Well, he says he loves me. He says all these nice things to me. And because of the emotional state of women, they soak all these words and pleasantries. And in their mind, they think they're in love. And a lot of women think love is a feeling. No. Love is not a feeling, women. Love is something that you can touch. Love is something that you can see. Love is something that you can hold. So that is a mistake that a lot of these women will stay in these relationships, will stay. And constantly get abused. And they do not want to leave. And if you're a man. Knowing that women are emotional creatures. There's no reason to get into verbal gymnastics with a woman. There's no reason to um, start arguing. And going back and forth. Exchanging words. Getting emotional. If a woman says something that's hurtful to you, walk away. Sometimes, you know, because of the way men are designed by nature, men and women would not agree on certain things, especially in 2022, in this modern day society where a lot of men are raised by single mothers, where there's an attack on masculinity. A lot of men do not know how to be men. And a lot of women do not know what to look for in real men. The relationship between men and women now is in a state of flux. It's like a competition. 
it's like a tug of war. It shouldn't be that way. We're created to be different for a reason. We were created to be beneficial to each other. We should celebrate our differences. That is the beautiful thing when God created man and woman and a woman. He made us to be different because if we're the, the same, how do we complement each other? Women are supposed to be soft, emotional. Men are supposed to be much, much harder, tough, and more logical. So if a man knows those things, he should understand that there are going to be times where you argue with a woman. And sometimes you just got to walk away and just let it be and cool. Because that is just how what you have to deal with in order to coexist with the opposite sex. So it is sad that there were other things that he said in this video. He said he's getting played with mentally. I think he's tired of getting played with mentally. He said he's been dealing with a lot of shit. So most likely he may have been going through a lot of problems and didn't get the help he needed. Didn't reach out for help. Who knows? Or maybe his partner did not... <laughs> understand he's going through a lot of stuff that is why sometimes women have to understand that men go through a lot of things too a man a man can be very 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 stressed out maybe may have a lot of mental health issues he also said that nobody's mindful of what i, I guess men go through and he said he he's not killing himself he also said he's sorry he said the shit that he does is just not good enough. I don't know whether he's referring to the woman he just killed that whatever he tries to do to please her is just not good enough. Who knows? She can't speak for herself because he already killed her. He showed the outfit he wants to be buried in. And also, you can tell that this guy is selfish and jealous because he said that... Uh, the child has good grandparents. Why would you be so selfish to kill your son's mother? Kill yourself and now pass the burden of raising your child to your parents, the child's grandparents. That is about as selfish as a human being can be. This guy actually denied his child the right or the ability to to grow up with his mother and father now he has passed on that responsibility to his parents he also prayed he said he failed god man all i can say is that If you're in a domestic uh, violence relationship where you've been abused, reach out for help and get out. And if you want to date somebody and you see the signs of abuse early on, because typically these signs will show up, they will manifest. Run. Run. Love is not a feeling. I know a lot of women would not be able to understand it. In their, in their heads, love is a feeling. It's not. Love has to be manifested by words. I mean, sorry, has to be manifested by actions, not words. I hope the family of the victim finds peace I don't know if I can say the same for this monster who killed this woman I can't I know a lot of people have been saying prayers to the to this monster I cannot say I can't let me know what you guys think in the comments appreciate you guys for watching
I love you guys, my family here. And most importantly, say no to extreme foolishness.